let's talk about fruit trees and fungi. So back in 2023, when I was at Little Dog Farm, we built what I like to call a fungal nursery. Think of it like a starter bed for beneficial fungi. It's a built structure that encourages fungal colonization and decomposition. You give the fungi a home, usually with woody materials like wood chips, and provide the right conditions for them to grow. So in this case, you're not growing mushrooms for food, you're producing mycelium and fungal-rich organic matter that can be used in all sorts of ways. At the time, we built it using eight straw bales in a square layered like this. First layer, moist wood chips, then a sprinkle of fungal spawn, another layer of wood chips, more spawn, and a final layer of chips for insulation. This year, Ian updated his fungal nursery and took it 10 times further. So now he's cultivating and experimenting with five different fungi, each with its own little nursery. There's blue oyster, chestnut, white elm, king strafaria, and lion's mane. He also changed the starting layer using straw instead of wood chips at the base. So why go through the trouble of building a fungal nursery, especially in an orchard? Fruit trees and shrubs like your pears, your apples, your plums, your peaches, your grapes, your berries, these are all woody perennials. What gives these woody perennial structures is lignocellulose. It's a tough blend of lignin, cellulose, and hemicellulose. It forms the vascular tissues found in the plant's trunk, the branches, the stems, and even the root systems. But these aren't just structural supports. They're considered highways that carry water, nutrients, and sugars throughout the entire body of that plant. So building them isn't optional, it's essential. And this is where white rot fungi come in. When white rot fungi break down lignin in wood chips, they release aromatic compounds and simple sugars. And these breakdown products, they're called precursors. They're the raw materials that can be cycled through microbes or absorbed by plants directly in order for that tree to rebuild lignin and maintain its vascular system. Trees rely on fungi to supply these raw materials. So without fungi uh, breaking down the right type of organic matter, the supply chain falls apart. You end up with leggy, maybe weak, and struggling trees. 